In 2017, Sony announced the radio-controlled, high-speed sync, and TTL-capable 45RM flash. In today's video, I'll introduce you to the features and specs of their latest flash, the HVLF 60RM. This new flash works with Sony's multi-interface hot shoe, which you'll find on their latest A6000, A7, and A9 series of cameras. If you place this flash on your camera's hot shoe, it could also function as a radio commander for your other Sony flashes like the 45RM. At first glance, it looks similar to its predecessor, the 60M, which was an optically controlled flash. It offers high-speed sync and TTL functionality, a guide number of 60, and best of all, it now has radio control capabilities when paired with Sony's wireless flash commander. If you've ever seen the 60M flash, it had a cool feature that I'm happy to see here in this new model, which is the ability to tilt the flash head 180 degrees to either side. This especially comes in handy when shooting in a portrait orientation, especially when you compare it to standard hot shoe flashes that place the flash head far away from the lens. I'll demonstrate the differences for you in an upcoming video. Now the 60RM works with four AA batteries and is compatible with the new FA EBA1 battery pack, a product that I'll talk about in a separate video. It has a micro USB port on the side, a flash sync port, and a port to plug in the EBA1 battery pack. On the front of the flash, you'll find three LED lights that you can use for shooting stills or video with the ability to have the intensity dialed up or down in the menu. The flash head can zoom anywhere from 20 to 200 millimeters, and like most other flashes, it has a built-in diffuser and bounce card. On the back of the flash, the buttons have been simplified compared to its predecessor. On the first row of buttons, you'll find a level minus and plus key, which you'll use to dial in the power of your flash when shooting manually. The FN, or function key, allows you to quickly access your flash, recall, wireless, and zoom modes, as well as adjust your flash output levels. Lastly, you'll find the menu button allows you to access all of the other functions of the flash. On the second row, you'll find a test button which fires your flash, as well as a rocker joystick and select button that gives you quick access to your zoom, wireless, and mode functions by default. By going into your menu, you can customize the wheel, joystick, and button to whatever functions you use most. Lastly, you have your on-off switch with a lock option that prevents you from changing settings by accident. The 60RM offers four channels that can be separated into five different groups to give you the ability to control individual lights via the remote or control them in groups. For more information on this flash, check out the links in the description for this video. Also, check out my in-depth walkthrough and tutorial video that explains everything you need to know to start using your new flash right away. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you Hulk smash that like button, share this video with your photographer friends, and most of all, subscribe to the channel as I have new videos posting every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.